Hey guys, so today we're taking a look at a really special mouse. Yes, that's a mouse. It's the Ergo Slider Plus by First Go and it was sent to me by them just for this video, so thanks to them. It's meant to be an ultimate ergonomic mouse replacement and you might wonder how it actually works, so without waiting any further, we'll take a look at it. So it comes in a clean white box. It actually feels like it could be an Apple product. <laughs> In the box you get the base where you can lay your wrists and the roller bar. The unit is mostly plastic but it has a pretty good quality. The wrist rest is removable which is nice if you want to clean it and I hope you will as I can see it getting dirty in the long run. The cable is not removable but it can be routed on both sides which is nice depending on your setup. I still would have liked a removable cable as it could be replaced if it's damaged. The unit is slightly wider than a 60% keyboard, so it would be pretty much the width of a 10 keyless keyboard or most 15 inch laptops. At work, I have it set up that way. I have a 60% keyboard on top of my laptop's trackpad and the ergo slider is just below that. The hate bump it gives to the keyboard is perfect for me and with the wrist rest, it's quite comfortable. Now, as for the roller bar, it has a rubberized finish which grips well. And there are two Teflon bearings at both ends so that it can glide and roll easily. Just drop it in the tray and it's ready to use. Finally, you get the basic left and right mouse clicks, backward and forward shortcut buttons, and a scroll wheel that acts as a double click when you click it. This mouse works both on Mac and PC and you simply plug it in and Windows will install drivers automatically while macOS recognizes it as a standard mouse and it works out of the box. It's pretty easy to use, using your fingers you can move your cursor by sliding and rolling the roller bar a bit like you would do with a trackball. The sensor is a laser one and it has an 800 dpi sensitivity which is decent enough for work purposes. I mean, it's clearly not a gaming mouse. Or maybe it is. Okay, maybe not. Having it just under my keyboard prevents me from moving my hand aside to reach for my mouse and my thumb can even almost rest on the roller bar in my resting typing position. And it's pretty easy to pick it up. I've been using it for a whole week, leaving my mouse in the drawer at work and I haven't had much trouble having only this mouse to control my cursor. I think I would need a lot of time to be as precise and as fast as I am with a mouse but I have years of practice with that. Still, the basics are easy to learn and I could get a relatively decent speed quite fast, even just after a few hours. In my case, I didn't have wrist problems with my normal mouse, so it's a bit harder for me to feel the benefits. Still, I like how compact it is and you don't need a dedicated mouse pad anymore too. Now, you might wonder how you can go sideways when the bar is already at one of the sides. Well, there's a button on each side which will continue the cursor's movement so that you can reach the other side of your screen. While it might seem weird at first, it becomes second nature quite easily and it's especially useful with multi-monitor setups. I also used it with mouse acceleration on, it makes more sense that way as you don't reach the side limits as often. Another thing to mention is that the roller bar is clickable, however I found that it wasn't precise enough as the bar tends to roll while you click, resulting in a missed target. Even when you prevent the bar from rolling with your other hand, it still happened. Also, text selection is a bit harder as the bar tends to scroll a bit when you move it sideways, so it's a bit harder to move it in an only horizontal manner. But other than that, the controls are really nice and I could see myself getting almost as fast as I am with a mouse. Last thing is that I would love to be able to remap buttons easily to have side scrolling with the bar. It would be awesome for video editing to scroll through your timeline, 
I know I could do it with a mouse remapping software, but I didn't take the time to try it. So in conclusion, it's a great product to reduce wrist fatigue as it provides great support and it reduces the movements you have to make. The wrist rest is really comfortable and it's a great option for laptops too as it's not too wide. Carrying it around would require a case as the roller bar would fall otherwise, but for a setup at work, it makes a lot of sense. I think it's a great option and it switches which muscles are used, so it could be even a great option if you wanted to keep a mouse around and simply alternate between the two, a bit like you would do with a sit to stand desk. Again, I'll have links in the description if you're interested in that mouse. So that's pretty much it for today's video, thank you for watching, make sure you like the video if you did and if you didn't, just let me know in the comments what I should change, otherwise don't forget to subscribe if you still haven't already and I'll see you in the next video.